This video is going to be about the second part of back to my channel happy skin with gauri and if you're new here i am gauri and i love to make skincare videos on instagram as well as on youtube so if you haven't subscribed me yet do subscribe also do follow me on instagram this video is going to be about the second part of the first part which i have made and if you haven't checked the first part you can go and check it right here it's going to be uh, the product recommendation we are going to talk in detail about the ingredients that i've mentioned in my previous video and how it is beneficial to your skin also what should be the concentration of those ingredients that i've mentioned and what age can use it and which skin type can use it so it's gonna cover everything but today we're gonna talk about only four things that is sunscreen azelic acid transamic acid and kojic acid the later ingredients will be covered in the next part which is third part will be coming in just four days so stay tuned for that as well there will be also product recommendation uh, for each of these ingredients that i've talked and i'm not a dermatologist so it's better if you consult your dermat before including any of these ingredients to your skincare routine i'm ready with my notes let's get into the video the first thing which we're gonna talk about today is nothing but sunscreen what should i say about sunscreen sunscreen is the one thing that i love to carry everywhere anywhere because it is like a holy, holy grail to your skin you know in your skincare routine it protects you from sunburns it protects you from inflammation and redness uh, it also helps to reduce the aging effect caused due to sun damage it also helps for the uh, you know skin cancer problems that can happen because of sun damage and many more so sunscreen is like really a blessing to all of us people sunscreen is must in everyone's skincare routine and if you're using other ingredients that are like azelic acid transamic acid or the other acids which i've mentioned uh, they will heal your scars but sunscreen will stop them from you know from coming again back to your skin one thing which we're going to keep in mind about sunscreen is we have to choose a sunscreen that is more than 30 spf spf is nothing but sun protecting factor and more than 30 spf or 30 spf helps us to ensure that we are protected from sun 97 percent that is 97 percent we get the protection from the sun if we apply 30 spf sunscreen or more the age uh, literally everyone can use sunscreen at any age there are even sunscreen for babies now so you can use sunscreen as soon as possible so that you don't have future problems uh, about your skin coming to the product recommendation these are my favorite brands and i absolutely love them i'm using them and i can clearly see the difference also if you want me to make a video on sunscreen please do comment the products i have mentioned here uh, are also mentioned in my description box as well so if you click the link it can take you to the product itself and it will be easier you, for you to find them talking about our next ingredient which is azelic acid azelic acid is a natural acid which is found in wheat barley and even rice so it is it has that anti-inflammatory uh, properties which helps us to fight with the inflammation we get on our skin like the age spots or even the pih or pie the azelic acid can really help in all of these problems Azelic acid not only cures your pimple but also helps to get rid of the pimple marks that is left after your pimple or acne. Azelic acid helps to lighten the hyperpigmentation and it also improves your texture of the skin and it evens out your skin by making your skin really good and even toned. Azelic acid is available in gel, uh, in cream or even serum forms that are easily available in market but if you want to try out the creams it's better if you talk to your dermatologist as we can't really say about the creams but serums are really the safest way for you to use it so if you want to add azelic acid to your skincare routine it's better if you start with the serum talking about the time it re requires to show you the results is it is a mild 
uh, you can say it is a mild acid than retinols and benzoyl peroxide so it can take 6 to 12 weeks to show you the result but be consistent it will surely help your skin to be even out and it will also help you to deal with the hyperpigmentation problem concentration of this product can be from 10 to 20 percent that 10 to 20 percent really shows the difference and you can obviously start with the lower percentage first and then go to the higher percentage but uh, when this azelaic acid is in the serum form it is safest way to use and it almost suits everyone but it's better to do a patch test before you try any of these products azelaic acid can be used by the people who are 12 plus age and it's better to start using it according to the you know every uh, brand comes up with their product and the age limit is written on that so it's better to start using with that age limit because they have designed it like that that a particular skin tone can bear it so it's better to start using it according to the brand mentions some of the product recommendation for azelic acid is one from the Domaco which is available in the market I'll be mentioning the link in my description box as well also the another one is uh, from Termi Texture which I recently received and I haven't tried it yet but it has really good reviews uh, the ointment which I'm going to talk about is Aziterm you have to better consult it's better to consult your dermatologist before trying this cream uh, it is available in 10 10 percent and also 20 percent so better consult your dermat before uh, you know trying this cream out also eclat has the spot remover or spot corrector uh, serum which even has good reviews and you can try it out other one is from deconstruct it is the breakout control serum it also has uh, azelic acid in it and you can surely try it out azelic acid can be used in am as well as pm it's better to use azelic acid with vitamin c serum for the best results and do not forget to apply sunscreen on it also you can use it in the pm routine as well the next ingredient we're going to talk about is transemic acid Transemic acid is something that helps you with the, uh, it helps to fade the discoloration. It also helps to brighten your skin and also helps to reduce the appearance of the acne marks. Transemic acid is also safe for all skin types, but it is always better to try a patch test before. And it can be used in AM as well as PM routine. It goes along best with the vitamin C serum, hyaluronic acid and also it's important to apply SPF 18 or more 18 years age or more people can use it and the concentration for transemic acid uh, is between 0.5% to 2.5% which is very safe for your skin and one product which is available in the market which really helps you to de deal with your PIE, PIH and melasma problem is the one serum from minimalist which is transemic acid serum and you can easily find it i'll be also mentioning it in my description box as well so you can go and check it out uh, transemic acid also works with uh, i mean it shows results in 8 to 12 weeks so you have to be consistent and patient as well the last ingredient which we're going to talk about today is kojic acid and kojic acid is really helpful for you to deal with the hyperpigmentation problem kojic acid inhibits and prevents the melanin production in your body melanin is a pigment which gives the color to your skin that is if you have high melanin percentage in your body it means that you have darker skin tone and if you have low melanin uh, concentration in your body it means you have the light skin tone melanocyte cells produce the melanin and these are found more if you have injury or inflammation on your skin and that is the reason if you have any injury or inflammation you get the dark patches or dark spots like uh, the aging spots or even the hyperpigmentation kojic acid have lightening effect on the inflammation and it has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties which can help to heal the acne and it also lightens up with the hyperpigmentation the dark spots and melasma 
Kojic acid can be used in your AM as well as in PM routine and the percentage which is safer for your skin is 1 to 4 percent and it almost shows 2 to 3 weeks to get you the results so you can immediately see results after using kojic acid for a period of 2 to 3 weeks kojic acid is again suitable for all skin types but obviously a patch test is must and one product from dermaco has really helped many of them so here is the product and also i'll be mentioning the link in the description box as well that's it guys this is all we have for today and the next four ingredients we're going to talk about in our later video that is part three of this video series so stay tuned for that also if you like the video do not forget to comment share and subscribe and do follow me on instagram as well thank you